situation, things like that. And well, Fly, he's putting himself into harm's way to try and prevent Arteezy from dying, but then... Arteezy has a pretty big wand and healing Lotus as well, but it looks like it's not going to matter. So very nicely done. Chrysalis actually wants to get involved. The double bound, the strike, but the jump on forward fly. Too early with the earth spike means that Arped will take a spill in our fly as well. We know the casualty of war is seek out in whenever you're playing against a shadow demon. Is mid just... This is not an easy kill, especially with the TP's coming out. FBZ has got the Ravage at the ready. They're going to try and dump everything onto our bed. Do they have the damage they do without a doubt? And now Arteezy, well, he'll still be able to get the finishing blow with the help of the Eclipse. Sableye, Sableye okay. using the surge on someone else means that he might be the uh, attention now for Seeker. They'll just you know, put all their spells onto him and now fly stuck around for a little bit too long as well. So if one to one they go and Crystals is not even done just yet. Oh no, man, Sableye. Do anything. Oh, Trip. what an initiation. Oh, Mel gets three, and now there's no escape for at least multiple of them. Saber's able to get the surge away, but meanwhile, Yamich is locked on to fly. And with the bridge, you're not going to be able to get too much further than that, and they were even hunting as well. Unfortunately, Armel. Five. They already TP'd a couple heroes top as well, so, I mean, no one is going to be anywhere in the neighborhood. Even think about protecting Arbed, who's had his third death of the game, and this is, uh, you are not a hero that catches up at all. You you want to be snowballing. Understanding as well of how much vision uh, yeah. is available during day and night time. If that was daytime, he couldn't make that sort of move. There's a Lunar as well. well meanwhile, Gets a little bit of extra Saber Light vision. is going to get lasted up. Armo's in with the combo. Saber Light doesn't have enough auras. Keep himself alive with the Crimson Guard, so... I mean, that ward was... That should! As they'll drop the sentry to give them vision Renty, for the beams, boys. but they're already starting to come around. Look at all the angles they're taking. Chrysalis tries to line up the balance TP strike disables. onto two. But with the TP getting cancelled, RTC's gonna make them run the long way and waste as much time as he possibly can. That time really will not be able to do too much here for Shopify. Just be Us. puppy that gets gone on, but... Oh, Which damage well. maybe instead? But it's it's on a Batrider who's pretty mobile and Secret can react accordingly. Fly's gonna miss the Earth Spike. They'll try and turn to Sableye who does get outside the Wukongs. This is the fight they've been waiting for. It's still gonna be difficult as Arbed. Pops to BKB, going toe to toe with Crystals. He wants to try and turn to deal with the Crit Shadow Demon. Arbed's doing a lot of damage off the back of the Exo, but once the Jinku stacks are able to come into play, they should be able to chase down with the Death Prophet. With Armel showing up as well, he can just stand his ground. Nothing he needs to fear. Arteezy tries to turn with Eclipse, but there are just way too many units to soak the beams. They'll still get the kill on the Yamich before the hand of God. But that was a fight where the Ravage comes out at the last second to secure it. They didn't even need it at the initial round of spells as secret find four. And what a worthwhile sacrifice for Yamich. And they call it. And it's... This went into crit first, and this should be a easy first blood. Kill on the Yamich, I guess, meanwhile, inside the river. Armel make an attempt onto crit as well. Looks like there will be a rebuttal. Arbed might be able to. Uh, you, you need to be able to convert on this advantage that you have, and this can all start from crit splink reveal. Gonna be able to jump. Sableye is got the raw fall up as well. Not before Puppy gets the force into the defensive global science as well, but Armel, he'll still go down, and Arteezy's wraparound. Means that Yamich is caught inside the lane. Arteezy, we've got a song just to help them close the distance. Arbed, he's soaking all the damage away from the Terror Blade. It's going to render Crystals completely useless. What an awkward timing. As soon as FBZ tries to counter initiate a Shopify, an incredible team fight from them. The spell casting. Crit? This oh, might be a pretty FBZ. good target. Oh, oh. man, he's the spear. And now even Fly is going to jump in to try and protect Crit. It's a pretty good arena along with the Wukongs, but is this the fight where they can turn around? Both supports going to be killed off to start. They'll turn to Arbed next as well. He's still yet to pop the BKB. The kiss is going to be raining down. That'll force the BKB out of Arbed. Ooh, who's outside the base? FBZ? Anyway, he might get a nice backstab. Global Sun's going to be used. Early start onto Armel. Simultaneously, the roar is going to be onto Sableye as well to the top, but it's not going to matter because Arbed's in some danger. Tries to pop the BKB and gets it out. They're doing a pretty good job to dance at the moment from Shopify in and out, forcing out the buyback from FBZ. Pretty good and song. How do they use it though? What's the call? 
Arteezy sleeps four. Maybe they just want to go for the Mars off the back of the buyback. Will be able to land the arena up, but now with the BKB on cooldown. Still going to have a bunch of health to play with, and Crit just blows up the Terror Blade. Armel's gone. And with those heroes dead in the grave for the final time, that G's are dropped, and Shopify gets a much-needed victory.